Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here, coming at you with 2024 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Pick your team number 11, so half case from a fresh case. Big thanks to the people who got into it. On a Wednesday, just pick your team 11 right there. Barry, you ended up with, a, I think, double last spot mojo with the Rockies and the A's before we pulled uh, the remaining teams for that RNB, the random number block, which we did in a different video. There we go. So it involves those teams right here. Get a serial number. Second half is in the store, and there's a, we're about halfway through it, 15 teams. So there's a good chance we can get another one of these done tonight. And if we can get some people to help with some full spots, getting some teams outright, you know, maybe we can bundle up the remaining teams into a filler, into a random number block, and then we can get it across the finish line that way. And maybe we'll accidentally just sell it out outright. don't think we have any more museum after this. All right, so we'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Six, right side. This side will be for break 12. Twelve right here. Right. Sometimes my twos look like Z's. That could be is break is. All right, that's what we got here. Love the museum. Good looking stuff. Or mini boxes. Good luck. What a big hit potential in here. We got. We got frames, one of one possibilities, bat knobs, barrels, all that sort of stuff. Uh, if I'm working all weekend, will we be taking next week off? No. I wasn't planning on it, should I? It's a good idea, Rex. No, because. I'm pretty much getting Thursday off because we're traveling and we get to hang out in New York, get a nice dinner, you know, goof around, chill at the hotel. So that's pretty much a vacation right there. And Sundays, a, Sundays usually aren't as busy at shows. Usually everyone's just breaking things down and packing things up. So... You know, and then it's a travel day. We have a nice dinner, hang out at the airport, you know, get a drink or two. Sleep on the plane, watch a movie. That's pretty much a day off. So, no, I think the two travel days make up, you know, because I'm working Fridays, the Friday, Saturday, Kind of Sunday-ish. So no, I think I think I'll be right back in the action on Monday. Here's Shota for the Cubs. That'll be for Jonathan. Here is Corey Seager. 
Uh, 16 out of 99. For Texas, that'll be, that's a number block team. So that'll be for Texas six. That's gonna go to David. Now there's gonna be some non-numbered cards. All the hits are numbered in museum, but there are gonna be some non-numbered base cards. I'll do a randomizer for that. It'll be a winner take all. Um, like this one, like the Chung Hu Lee. And here's uh, Clayton to 150. Uh, what am I excited about trying in New York? I'm not sure if we're gonna have a lot of, I mean, I've been to New York before. So, you know, and there's really nothing to try per se that we don't have here in LA. Um, But I don't think we're going to have too much time to be exploring. Here's Glaber Day, 15 out of 99 for, for Matt. It's a work trip. It's a not, not a vacation. Although, we'll have some fun there. All right, we got Mason Wynn. Nice rookie auto for the Cardinals, 100 out of 299. Some some of, some of the other the other guys will 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 treat these car shows like a vacation, but no, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be working it, working the booth, working the breaks, working the live streams. Nathan with the Cardinals. So we'll carve out a little bit of try to carve out a little bit of fun in the evening. We usually figure something out. Primary pieces: Andrew McCutcheon, eight out of ninety nine. Pirates, that's going to be for Ken. And we got Hunter Pence. 79 out of 299. Three pieces of the lumber that he used to... Remember his batting stance? He used to wag that bat like a... Like, an, like it was an axe. Some would say he's an axe murderer. Not me, though. Definitely not me. But I'll bet if you did a plot of uh, unsolved axe murderers in the United States. And uh, Giants Road Games. You might find a correlation. We were looking at baseball games in New York. But I don't know. I think I think Gilo mentioned that yesterday too, because he's going to be at Fanatics Fest, and uh, he was looking at baseball. The Yankees are out of town, but it's Mets Marlins. I don't know if that's too exciting of a matchup. And for some reason, the hours, start time of the games are a little on the earlier. They're sort of weird times. A one o'clock local time game, another five o'clock local time game. Feel like it, ooh, that feels like the frame. And like if we wanted to get all the way out to Queens from where we're gonna be at the Javits Center in Manhattan, I would just be like, the game would be over by the time we, we get there with, with, with how quick games go these days. There are like 7.30 starts or something like that. I feel like we could try to make one. I would definitely have an episode on Hunter Pence. You know, go go look up some highlights, ladies and gentlemen. The way he waggles that bat, the wild look in his eyes. You know.
and like a and like all uh, like all good serial killers, he's got he's got money, time, and the ability to travel a lot. All right, here's the Mick. One out of 25 for Matt and the Yankees. And there's Nolan Arenado to 199. That'll be for the Cardinals. That'll be for Nathan. All right, hits. Uh, 263 out of 299, Juan Gonzalez. Dual relic and auto. Excellent mustache on Juan Gonzalez. So the top loaders fell over. They wanted to ring the bell for Juan. Rangers are a random number block team, so that'll go to Texas 3. And that'll be for Chris. Wyatt Langford rookie card. And there is Luis Robert, 15 out of 15. Purple foil, triple quadruple relic, that is. And that will be for the White Sox. Barry with the White Sox. Wyatt Langford will also be part of that non-number uh, group. Uh, let's do the... F oh, no. Brewers take the lead. All right, behind Billy Williams is Jordan Wesper. 14 out of 35. Rookie relic going to the O's. Matthew with the Orioles. What happened, Mookie? I was trying to bat, he lifted his head too early. Took his eye off the ball just a half a second and then... All right, and the frame. It's like a copper or bronze colored frame. It's gonna be Evan Carter. 16 out of 20. Nice. Rangers are a random number block team that's going to go to Rangers 6. And that'll be for David. How many home runs does Juan Gonzalez have? Don't know. It's got to have at least 400 homers, right? I say 468. And why is he not revered more? I don't know that answer either. I think there may have been some, maybe some steroid allegation or attachments. I suppose that could, could go for more most in the generation. I don't think he really did outside. I mean, maybe nationally, at least for... For me, in Southern California, you know, you, I'm not sure if we really made national news all that often. There were no... Rangers really weren't in the playoffs too often in his era, so it's not like he was making noise in the playoffs, and I'm not sure if he was really a huge personality. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but I don't think there was really any, like, you know... I don't know. He wasn't doing a lot of interviews. I feel like you don't see a lot of interviews. He's been largely, seemingly, out of the baseball spotlight after retirement. What has he done since? Because he signs cards. But yeah, I mean, we haven't really... 434. That was pretty close. That was maybe about a season of homers off. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he really, really was kind of a 
from I mean from what I remember it was sort of a quiet guy. Yogi Berra to 99. And there's Riley Green, 67 out of 99. Detroit, that'll be for Barry. Here is Nate Ivaldi, 119 out of 299. Speaking of the Rangers, Rangers are a random number block team. So that'll go to Rangers 9. And that is for David, Rangers 9. And here is a quartet of Braves. 22 out of 99, Chipper Jones, David Justice, Fred McGriff, Andrew Jones. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of players in baseball. You know, and if you don't have like a, a cool nickname like Crime Dog or if you're not doing something special like, like Chipper Jones, you know, wasn't David Justice like dating celebrities? You know, like, so Andrew Jones, great glove in center field, dynamic young player. And Juan Gonzalez maybe gets lost in the, in, in, in the shuffle. Jackson Holiday rookie card for Matthew. And we've got Yandy Diaz, 44 out of 99. It's good. Field goal is good. Rays are a random number block team. So that's Tampa Bay four for David. All right, we're halfway through this half case break, second half in the store. I see one order coming in. If you want to keep breaking, ladies and gentlemen, let's keep breaking. I might be pulling an all-nighter anyway, so. I can even stay a little later, too. No, I have to finish packing.
Jonathan needs some Red Sox or Cubs mojo here. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. We've got three boxes to go. All right, there's Paul Skeens. Pirates, Ken with the Pirates. There's the Paul Skeens rookie card. Yeah, keep going, Jonathan. <laughs> That's a one of one. Whoa. And there's Koufax 150. That's going to be for the Dodgers. That's a random number block team. Dodgers 2. It'll be for Alex. I, d I didn't think the green foils were one of one, but they are. Jason Dominguez, rookie one of one. Matt Lieber and the Yankees. It's a nice looking card. Matt. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo That's nice. All right, let's see what else we got in here. How about some Kyle Harrison? Three color, triple relic and autograph to two ninety nine. When you're right, you're right, Jonathan. Just conjuring magic left and right. Here is a couple Astros. Alex Bregman, Kyle Tucker, eight out of 99. Eugene with the Strohs. Here is Sal Freelich, 52 out of 299. Brewers leading my Dodgers by a run in Milwaukee. Running out of outs. And here is O'Neal Cruz, 12 out of 35. The mighty O'Neal Cruz going to Ken and the Pirates. All right. Another box. If you bought a spot, yes. If you bought a spot, you'd be in it. What break number are you in? You should have an order confirmation with the break number. Look at that. An Atelier autograph, book card, and an extra hit. Like what I see there. We did see a Jason Dominguez one of one chain base card. That was pretty, or one of one rookie card, which I thought was pretty cool. Maybe some more. Pretty nice. 
Here's Yoshinobu. There is uh, Jose Ramirez to 150. Junior Caminero got called up yesterday. Um, Rays are a random number block team, so that'll be part of that random number block group. Colton Kowser will... Uh, Colton Kowser goes to the Orioles. Jose Ramirez goes to the Guardians. That's Kevin. And the Yoshinobu is a random number block team. So that's also part of that RNB group. All right. Here is a Spencer Steer. 71 out of 99. Triple relic and autograph for the Reds. Reds are a random number block team. And that'll go to Chris. Reds number one. Oh, Alex, I see you on this list right here. Yeah, you're on. You're in on the number block break. You got. You got randomized number two. Here is a quad relic, Seiya Suzuki, twenty-seven out of ninety-nine. Jonathan Kent with the Cubs. Looking for the Cubs. Here's one. And behind Jackson Churio is another Cub, Sammy Sosa, 42 out of 99. Piece of the jersey. And the Churio is another non-numbered uh, card for the n random number block group. All right, what do we got here? First, there is uh, Pedro Martinez Mets edition, 12 out of 25, quad relic. Uh, Mets are a random number block team. So that goes to New York Mets 2. And that's for you, Alex. Alex with the number 2. Game use memorabilia. All right. And the book. Atelier autograph book card. Good luck, everybody. It will be a brave. It's Spencer Strider. I love these books. 15 out of 25. Silver ink autograph right on the book. A nice shot of Truist. Spencer Strider's fired up. Eugene Palmer's fire. Eugene Palmer's making a reaction like this right now. Nice. A beauty. All right. Nice box. Last box coming up. <laughs> Eugene's right there. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Fired up like Spencer Strider. Yes! Love those. Love those uh, Atelier book cards. Got a nice shot of the stadium. All right. Second half is in the store. This is the makings of a hot case here, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what's in the second half. I'm curious. If you are as well, grab a team or two and let's get that let's get that opened up tonight. Tonight. Another trivia question. Name the smallest capacity stadium. It's either Wrigley or Fenway. Hey, no worries, Eugene. Thank you for getting in. Can't win if you don't play. Well, Rex, come on, Rex. There was a frame. It was the Evan Carter. So confident, Rex. So confidently wrong. I love it.
Yeah, Wrigley's over 41,000. Yeah, that's not that's not very big. Dodgers, Dodgers team is like 56,000. Then it's got to be Fenway then. Fenway's like 38 something, isn't it? You know, I'm pretty sure that if the A's in Vegas, if they do end up going to Vegas and if they end up um, building the stadium they want to build, um, I think is going to be this and end up being the smallest Major League Baseball stadium. I think it's going to be like 34 or something like that. Fenway is almost 30, so is that the smallest? There's a Gunner to 150 for Matthew. Another Jason Dominguez. This will go nicely with the one of one. Are the Miami Stadium is the smallest? Realize that. Here is Mike Trout, one sixty nine out of two ninety nine. Matthew went fishing, caught a trout. Nice archival autograph. Now he just needs to get healthy. All right. And back here is, is Key Brian Hayes, 24 out of 49. That's kind of a big number, right, to 299? Guess he has more free time now. Uh, Pirates, that's going to be for Ken. Behind Rhino is is a triple relic and autograph. Three out of 15. Justice is served to Eugene. Out of 15. Nice low number. And here's Corbin Carroll who's been heating up just in the last month or so. Final hit is Albert Pujols. One out of 10. Quad relic, game use memorabilia. Nice piece of lumber. Maybe that piece of lumber hit a home run, one of his many. Piece of his jersey, Cardinals edition. And that is for Nathan. Nice. There you have it. No, Tropicana Field's huge, isn't it? Oh, maybe they, I, uh, I get, okay. I see what they're, I guess they'll say it's the, I guess maybe that's what the Rays have it. Only they only sell that many, but it can hold over over forty thousand. All right, that's that's I feel like that's a trick question. <laughs> the place itself can hold like almost fifty thousand, I think. But I guess if you only sell, if you say uh, it's only. You know, if you only sell 25,000 seats, then you could say you're selling out games. All right, Rays. All right, this is for the non-numbered cards uh, for just those teams right there. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a five, 11 times. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And final time, Chris Butler. There you go, Chris. You'll get those non-numbered base cards. There may be some others, but these are some of the the highlights: the Cheerio, the uh, the Yamamoto's, the Camineros, Langford, and Lee's. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. Uh, let's do the second half of the museum.